Hey everyone, I'm back with another video. I'm quite a bit sick, so if my voice sounds weird, I apologize for that. But this is a very short video to make, so it's not going to be a detriment to my health or anything. This is just a short and sweet video that I'm making for my viewers who are part of this community that has been naturally growing. So if you're not interested in that, I'm totally fine if you click off this video. I'm sure that there are at least a couple of videos on my channel that you might end up liking instead. Or alternatively, you could also subscribe to my channel and join the community such that this video is also relevant to you. So that's a win-win situation if I've ever seen one. So I just want to start off by pointing the obvious. The Manko Men army is now 5,000 strong. That might be insignificant to most people, but to me that's an incredibly big deal because this channel is everything that is me. So just the fact that 5,000 people watched my content and were like, I want to see more of that and click the subscribe button, that means a lot to me. Even if not a single one of my videos hit the 1,000 view mark, I would still keep making videos because this is my passion, it's my hobby and I have no reason to stop doing it. But that does not mean that your support does not help me. Long time subscribers who are familiar with my upload schedule would have started to realize that I am uploading more frequently now and that is because I'm just getting more positive reception now. It's tickling that primitive portion in my brain where every time I'm clicking upload, I'm just looking at the video analytics of how the viewership and the subscriber count is going up. And that definitely is something that puts me in the right mental space. Um, I would like to think that I'm someone who does not care about numbers. And that is true to an extent. I'm not going to let the numbers negatively affect me, but that also does not mean that I'm not going to be very happy when I hit a milestone. Now to the serious part though, because as nice as my community is, there's always got to be a few bad actors. Now because of the overwhelming majority of you guys are just nice folk, you understand nuance very well, you understand that not everything is black and white, it does not affect the overall quality of the discourse in my videos. It is still largely positive but for the few instances where it is negative there's a way to be negative there's such a thing called constructive criticism i have also received a good amount of criticism on my content and i've always tried to improve myself with every single video taking all of that constructive criticism into account and the reason i'm saying that is because there are few people there who don't see me as just a guy making videos because that is all i am nothing more nothing less in the two or so year span that i've been making videos especially for the last one year I feel like more than what I've thought with my videos, I have learned more from the community. So in this process of learning, I come across things that I'm not properly aware of. While most people do correct me just normally, there is another group of people who are just absolutely offended to the balls when I make mistakes. And while it is incredibly naive of me to go, please don't be rude to me. The point is to just see me as a person, communicate with me. I have great takes, you enjoy it. I have bad takes, you correct me. I am a very open-minded person. And even when I do get blatant insults thrown in my way, I really do not care about that. I'm someone who has the exact same mindset as Saitama. I'm just making these videos for fun. If I wanted to get more views, I could easily do that by changing my style of content. I could make 10 minute videos that would be very easier for the audience and also much easier for me to make. But that would go against who I am and the kind of content I want to make in this channel. And while I do have very thick skin, I don't have like an iron will or anything, the negative comments obviously do sometimes affect me. But I can just completely look past that because of the overwhelming amount of positive reception that I'm getting with my videos. And that's the next thing that I want to talk about because with that overwhelming positive reception also comes some bad actors. Like if you're on Twitter, you might have noticed what happened recently is that someone just took some of the information that I said in my previous video about Jujutsu Kaisen, completely stripped it off of its nuance and then just posted it on Twitter as facts. In my video, I made sure to drive in that most of what I'm saying are assumptions. I thought that I might as well publish the video because even if I ended up being wrong with my predictions, there is still a good amount of factual information in that video that is obviously good to know. And that factual information was exactly what was stripped off of the Twitter post. And that's not the end of it, by the way. There was a Ufortable fan using my videos as proof that Demon Slayer Season 3 is a very good adaptation and that Ufortable cares a lot about the Demon Slayer project. There was a line in one of the tweets that went like, even an expert like Manko Man said that Demon Slayer Season 3 has like wonderful CGI and compositing. And I, that's something I don't want either. That is the exact opposite side of the spectrum. I am again just a person. There's no need to put me on a pedestal as if I'm some sort of an animation guru. There are so many people who have far better knowledge about the industry who also make a living in the anime industry. Whereas I am completely separated from this. I'm just some guy who likes talking about animation.
that is it. And that is what I wanted from my channel from the very beginning. For fuck's sake, my channel is literally named Monko Man. I was trying to cover myself in a layer of irony such that no one will take me extremely seriously. So the next time you quote someone named Monko Man as an expert on animation, please take a few seconds to think about how stupid that sounds. I am totally fine with people sharing and appreciating my content on Twitter. I mean, who the fuck wouldn't be happy when that happens? And all the appreciation posts and the kind words that you guys say, it genuinely makes my day. What I'm trying to say here is that I don't want like a cult following like many big streamers have. Please try to have nuanced opinions because a lot of things that I talk about are not in black and white. There's no need to take me too seriously. But I'd also appreciate if you didn't take me as a joke. Again, I'm not using that as a get out of jail free card or anything. If I do make mistakes, I encourage you to correct me. If that criticism is constructive and correct, I'll take it with an open mind. If that criticism is incorrect, I will correct you. But if that correction sounds demeaning and or wrong and demeaning, then I can just ignore and proceed. Because at the end of the day, I'm putting myself here for all of you to see. And yeah, as long as I can keep doing what I love with all of the positive support that I'm getting, it's very easy to keep going.